Hello, my people. I have an important news for you. The UK, that is the Great Britain, Armed Forces Minister J.S. Harpai, have arrived in Nigeria today. Before we continue with this news, please, to those of you who are new in my channel, try to support the channel by subscribing, sharing this message is also very very important. God will bless you as you do so. To my old subscribers, I thank you so much for so doing. Let's continue with what actually is going on in Nigeria. Since the establishment of Eastern Security Network, the Nigerian government, the Nigerian Armed Forces, the Nigerian rulers, the dictators in Asurok, all of them are running Heta Skater. They are so scared of Eastern Security Network, a network, a security network that was established to protect the indigenous of Biafra from Fulani terrorists raping and killing our people. Since the establishment of this security network, the army of Nigeria is restless. The Air Force restless. The Navy restless. The police are restless. Why? Is the question. Just yesterday, the chief of naval staff said that ESN is the greatest threat to Nigerian's unity. And the question is why? ESN that was established to safeguard their people from Fulani terrorists, Hesmin terrorists, made the alarm. And instead of the government to support this ESL, the establishment, or instead of the military, the police to support it, since they have failed to protect the people, they themselves are now against the Eastern Security Network. And that is not enough. They started a fight against Eastern Security Network. And they have tested the power of Eastern Security Network. Now, they have no other option than to invite the British to come to Nigeria. Let me just read what the ambassador I mean, this UK High Commissioner in Nigeria just tweeted. Her name is Katrina Lang. Katrina Lang. This is what she tweeted. Great to have our Armed Forces Minister J.S. Hatai here today. His visit here demonstrates how important and how much we value our defense relationship with Nigeria. I am looking forward to his engagement with senior members of Nigerian Army headquarters and Nigerian government over the next few days. This is her tweet. So, they have invited the British Armed Forces Minister to come and advise them on how to deal with Eastern Security Network. Can the arrival of these British armed forces change anything? Can they intimidate the Eastern Security Network operatives? Can they stop Nigeria from disintegrating? 
Well, time shall tell. But first of all, the leader of uh, indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Nandekano, who formed this ESL, had replied the UK ambassador to Nigeria, or the UK High Commission, as they call her. Let me see. Let me read what Nandekano wrote. Dear UK in Nigeria, where was this strategic partnership all these years of Fulani terrorism and banditry? Now, we ethnic nationalities, whether together in your unworkable slave colony, have decided to be free. You are sending British military advisor to forcefully keep Nigeria one. That's a, a good one from the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Maze Nandekano. Yes, a, a great question. Since this Fulani has been terrorizing Nigeria for how many years now? Did the British High Commissioner and the Minister of Defense come to the aid of the poor man? Or come to the aid of the indigenous people? The answer is no. They did not. Now the people have risen up to say enough is enough. That they have to defend themselves. Since the military is colluding with the terrorists, they terrorize their own citizens, whom they are supposed to protect. The citizens have to rise up. They have to defend themselves. After all, the defense, our own defense minister have said, you have to defend yourselves. So, what advice is this man coming to give to the military that can change the situation at hand now? What advice? Are they going to bring their British troops to come and um, fight against Eastern Security Network or to come and defend the poor farmers in the forests, in their farms, or how are, they, how are they going to do it? One thing they did not understand is this, that when the military are siding with terrorists to attack their own people, the day the people will rise up, that military is going to collapse. And that is what is happening right now. The Nigerian military is going to collapse because the masses, the, whom they are supposed to protect, have risen up and they seize them as enemy. I am not saying this. Just read any news where the Boko Haram or unknown gunmen kill any Nigerian military person. You will see the citizens jubilating in social media. That is to tell you the anger in the people that the people don't longer trust their military. They no longer trust their police. Yes. They are the cause of this problem. There is no amount of advice. There is no, no amount of training now that can salvage the situation because people have now risen up to defend themselves. Since we know that our military or our police are no longer by our side. They've side they are not siding the terrorists. So what would the ordinary man do? defend themselves. So Eastern Security Network has the support of the people. There is nothing your arrival can change as it is right now. The people have decided to defend themselves and ESN has come to stay. Are you going to bring your troops to fight ESN? Then the people are waiting to see that they are waiting for it because as it is now, 
things can no longer be the same again. Things can no longer be the same again. It doesn't matter what the British does, the Nigerian army has collapsed. And that is the end of Nigeria. I thank you for, for listening to this news. I'm going to bring more news on this very issue as it develops. See you again next time.